Imagine our galaxy as a huge living organism with its own skeleton and its own evolution. The Via Lactea project, after three years of research, has put together a big database about the area of the universe that hosts our galaxy. The results of this study have been presented here in Rome, and they've opened boundless horizons to our knowledge of the Milky Way. The Via Lactea project will provide a further and deeper vision of our galaxy. The final result is like a giant library gathering maps of the deep sky and giving a complete picture of stellar nurseries in the inner Milky Way. It's like a collection of books, a collection of knowledge made with the contribution of all of us. Each chapter, a book or encyclopedia, each one on a different topic. We've tried to make connections between them all. The goal was to connect everything, because the universe is all connected. We've performed a full analysis of the entire plane of our galaxy. This gives the possibility for a wider study to get general statistics, to reconstruct the history, the past, the present and the future of the star formation in our galaxy. The EU-funded Via Lactea project was part of the HIGAL survey, the largest observation program carried out with the ESA satellite Herschel. This shows the Milky Way as a star formation engine. We're walking on the Milky Way picture, the most amazing image coming out of this research. What was the starting point and the goal? We started with the need to build the first highly detailed map of the distribution of cold matter in our galaxy. The cold matter is important because it's here that stars, such as our Sun, are forming. We could say that our galaxy is like a living organism, having a continuous cycle of transformation of matter. An unexpected result of the survey is the mass of filamentary structures that we see in the cold matter of our galaxy, and that's somehow a kind of skeleton of the spiral arms of our galaxy. Thanks to Herschel's data, which are the result of nearly 1,000 hours of observations, the creation of a fundamental theory as a predictive model for star formation becomes now a more affordable challenge for researchers. We are able to extract from the Herschel observations a lot more information now, which is helping us then to constrain a model. So there are other people in the network who build models of how stars form, of, of the flows that create stars. Thanks to Herschel, we've unveiled something. I mean, we now know the regions where stars are being formed. Now what we're going to do as we know where they are is to see and examine them in more detail. Looking at the birth register of recently formed stars, the Milky Way appears to be a mature galaxy steadily producing new stars.